Hello everyone, this is X Snagger West, and welcome once again to West Plays Pokemon Channel. This is going to probably be a short episode today, and once again, I apologize for the low frame rate issues. This is actually a problem caused by um, several things. For one, my operating system's uh, startup time is a little bit slowed because of uh, some some things, and I just started on my computer. I, I I don't do a lot of maintenance on my computer, but I do like to think that I keep it rather clean. Another thing, I'm also having some sound effect issues. The um, the sound effects in this game just don't seem to be working at the moment. Um, but hopefully that won't be a problem. We still seem to be getting the music and all that other stuff. Excuse me. So he tells me now I can buy more TVs. All of the music seems to be muted. No, okay, no, it's working. Let's see if Pikachu will make any noise. Okay, so yeah, sound effects aren't working for some reason. Again, sorry, this is going to be a short episode. I actually don't... I'm actually a little bit pressed for time uh, at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to watch the new programs today. And sadly, I think that's about it. We might uh, update this again with us going outside or something like that, but it should only be like 15 minutes or so. Pikachu's not even making any noise. This is something I should definitely look at. Oh, no, now he is. This is something I should definitely look at because it's 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 going to be a problem. I don't know what's causing it. We got the friendship poster. We got the Wobbuffet poster, which I don't really like, but I'm going to try to collect everything in the game. Gosh, I am not going to be able to get used to not having the sound effects. And again, you know, I'm sorry for the quality of this stuff. Anywho, we can actually go outside today. Um, I believe we can go outside now. That it's it's opened up pretty much most of the place for it. There's going to be some new items on Shop and Squirtle, including some of the passes for the places that we're that we're going to. But for now, we will watch the weather. Pikachu found a cardboard box. Okay, we're gonna zoom in on this so it goes a little bit faster. This is actually kind of laggy anyway, though, regardless of uh, regardless of the speed we actually have in this, it's just going to run a little bit slow. Oh, please, please. And this could be one of the longest running channels on this whole game. And it doesn't count as watching it if you just watch it and then uh, switch channels and then switch back, at least as far as I know. And I could test it, but I don't want to test it with this. And of course, Slowpoke goes to sleep on us. It'll go even slower if we zoom out. So yeah, technical difficulties as always with, with my uh, recordings and streams and stuff like that. I will be starting to stream uh, Pokemon Coliseum at some point too, and I have recorded more Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life videos as well for you guys, so you guys you guys have that to look forward to, if you're interested at all. Um, it is, it is, it is that time of the year again, where we all get to decorate for Christmas. Uh, how is your how is how is your guys decorating going? I mean, I doubt you're actually watching this around that time unless you're subscribed to me, which if you are, awesome. Hi, thank you. If not, um. Or sorry, if so, um, yeah. How is your decorating going? How is ever, how is all that uh, all that stuff working out for you? And uh, I actually have a small tree for my room now, just for my room. There's actually a big tree up in the uh, up in the main room, but okay, sweet. We watched that. Um, there's actually a big tree up in the main room, but I get my own little tree for my room now, and so I'm actually probably gonna start decorating some stuff too. I actually have some art to hang up and some uh, some little plushies and. And toys to put out and display and stuff like that too. Hey, hey I kind of have my work cut out for me with that because I actually have, um, I actually have a bit more in there now. This is the art study channel. They will always feature your art, no one else's, and they will always, I think, feature your latest uh, piece. And they'll always say the same things no matter what it is. It's ridiculous. But as always, we have OakSucks.jpg. Which will be analyzed. So soft. 
authoritative. Of course, the title that I would say is authoritative. It definitely asserts itself as a title. So uplifting. It fills me with anticipation, as if it were the day before a school field trip. It's so weird. The aspect ratio on this actually cuts off um, my cursor uh, when I put it over to the side in the recording. But it doesn't in the actual... It, it doesn't do that in the actual emulator itself. I can actually see everything from here. It might just be me, but the music and everything seems off in this right now. It could just be because I started up my emulator too early and it's got like... It's got some problems with it. But, yeah. So we're gonna watch the new anime while I chat over it. Yeah, the vocal tracks are quieter. So you guys will get to watch this episode without the announcer. There's something interesting. There's something to spice things up a bit. Or is it possibly my headphones? Oh, it is my headphones. I apologize for that. So, the sound effects are... In fact, working, my headphones were just slightly unplugged. I, gosh, I hope that didn't do that to my microphone, too. So yeah, sorry for those technical difficulty announcements, even though there weren't any technical difficulties, and sorry if my voice is cutting off and stuff like that. I'm, I'm working on daily stuff, hoping I can actually get daily. And I got I got 20 minutes um, to myself now, so it's, it sh I should have the time. Sorry, we'll actually not report to Professor Oak. We're gonna go straight outside. Just, just, just right outside. I'm gonna show you guys around a little bit while I still have your attention because it's only ten minutes. I mean, we're not, we're not gonna go for a straight short episode, you know, with this completely empty. But my favorites were the fourth generation uh, mystery dungeons. They had so much content in them. They were quite a bit more difficult, honestly. Um, so Pikachu can pull these weeds, and every once in a while, a um, a uh, coin will come out, like like money will come out. It's just it's just one uh, Poke Dollar, so it's nothing. It's not really that valuable. It's not really worth your time to pull the weeds if you're if you're trying to do it for the money. And Pikachu could not pull this one out, so we're not gonna bother too much with that one. If we go over here, Pikachu will eat these. I have no idea if that increases happiness or not. I'm pretty sure it does. There's nothing in this bucket. There's nothing in this bucket. Um, but but you can have Pikachu check there anyway. And there's always I think there's usually a banana in this box. We're going to ignore all that stuff now. What we're going to do is we're going to talk to our neighbors here. These, these Pokemon that are visiting, we're going to say hi. And I'm going to show you what you can get. So these these Pokemon uh, give you Pokemon quizzes. And if you get the quiz right, you get a card or you get money. If you already have their card, you get money. If not, you get their card. Ladybug uses a fluid uh, to let others know where it is. Where does this fluid get released from? It gets released from its feet. Sometimes there are silly answers, like, uh, why does swine up dig holes? It's like, to find food, to find shelter, and for a better tomorrow. It's so, it, it's kind of hilarious. I always enjoy that kind of stuff. And we're, we're actually not going to go out to Springley for any of the other places. We're just going to hang out in the backyard for a little bit here now. And these cards are holographic. Again, sorry for the frame rate issues. That's what's call it causing the other thing. It's just because I'm recording right now. It's a little bit slow. I'm considering actually showing you guys like maybe tutorials on uh, Dolphin Emulator and, and other emulators and stuff like that. Doing really cool things between them. I actually want to um, I actually want to do like a whole series on you know let's emulate and and actually show you how to get all the emulating stuff to work because I I actually own all of these games or have owned all of the games that I play at one point. Which is why I'm doing mostly GameCube games. That's the system that I owned. Um, but yeah, I, I've always wanted to emulate them because I don't always want to carry my games everywhere. And I've, I'm always just so excited to do these things on my computer. To just have that one machine that does everything and only have one monitor or screen or whatever hooked up. Even though I technically like to use two or three. But that's besides the point. 
Why do Hopip gather together in a cluster? To create wind to prevent being blown away and to avoid catching colds. Hopip are actually very light. It's to prevent being blown away. Interesting fact about the about one of the moves they use, Hopips use splash, and that's notable in the second generation. Why would a Hopip use splash? The thing is, in Japanese, the um this is kind of a little trivia thing, which you guys probably already know if you're watching this. Um that uh that the move splash is actually it, it was actually in Japanese, it was hop. But when in in the first generation when they were designing it, they um, they gave the move to Magikarp. Magikarp would use Hop and it would do nothing. But they changed it to Splash because it was a fish, so it would be a little bit more reasonable. Okay, we haven't planted anything yet, and so Pikachu goes straight away to planting things. This is awesome. Our Pikachu is pretty awesome. We're, Pikachu's gonna grow on us later too. Pikachu is gonna be like our best friend. And then he's also going to be really frustrating when he changes the channel on Shop and Squirtle when, like, the Surfing Pikachu doll is on or something. And that's going to be something we're going to try to get in this Let's Play because that is, like, one of my favorite dolls. Yellow. Pokemon Yellow version was the very first uh, Pokemon game that I played. And actually, I think one of the very first Game Boy games that I played. Aside from the one Cats game, but that was that was nothing. Um, but the first Pokemon game I, bleh, the first Pokemon game I played was Pokemon Yellow. And, uh, and that game was just, it, it was awesome at the time. I enjoyed it so much. Now, nowadays I'm actually not so impressed, but I still, um, I can still easily be entertained by, you know, playing with Pikachu as my main Pokemon and all that stuff. In that game, there was a little thing. If you could connect to, I think, Stadium or Stadium 2, you could, um, you could get a surfing Pikachu. Or you could get, uh, you could get, you could have the ability to teach your Pikachu surf. And there was a later event in a later game where you could teach Pikachu to fly. So there, there was always, there was always that kind of allure and charm to it. But anyway, I am sorry to say, but that is all I have time for today. We are going to sign off on our report, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully, um, hopefully it won't be nearly as boring as this one. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys uh, later.